three. <laughs> take more like five. You just always say take one. Take one. <laughs> it's still the first take. And then you can, leave, then you can leave it in there. And, yeah. Okay, hey, welcome to the studio. My name is Allie. That's Pat. We're in a band in Seattle called The Feral Folk, and this is our studio diary. And I really need this coffee. I'm pretending that I'm on tour, and I'm having my awful gas station coffee, even though it's terrible for my stomach. So, the last couple of weeks we've been working on a song named Natasha, but going through the process of releasing our newest song, All the Same, I just realized that when the song would be coming out, it was probably going to be more like summer, and I wanted to release a song that is a lot more upbeat, a lot more danceable, a lot more summery, and so we are starting afresh with a completely new song named Day Drinker. Do you have a notebook open, or you just going to remember all this? Mm -hmm. You're so intoxicating, tall, cold, drink of something good on a hot summer day. Life is short, let's seize it. So there's like that pre chorus, mm -hmm. and then it starts with B again for the chorus. Hey, mister, hey, mister, turn me into a day drinker. I see how it's the way through rose colored days, the real world away. Um, and there's that bridge. Mm -hmm. So it's E major, it's dark outside. Times are tough, but you're with me, and that's enough. And then your drum solo. That's enough for you to go off of, right? Sure. Yeah. Uh, so we can figure out how, what kind of um, <clears throat> scratch track you want to do. Do you do, want to do just like the simple ones like we normally do? Um, yeah. I'll just, I'll just do it direct. Okay. I don't have to sit the microphone. Lazy but productive. Energy efficient. That's yeah. us. I mean, the nice thing is, because we just did Natasha's drums, a lot of the stuff is already out here. Oh, yeah. That's a Yeah, but at least you don't have to, you don't have to set, up, set up the stands. Like, you're not having to start from scratch. positive day we got our scratch tack done you can hear pat in the background working on some drum stuff um it usually takes us more than one day in the studio to really lock into the drums so that's, that's pretty normal we'll probably have an extra day maybe on thursday this week um just focus on getting the foundation of the song down but i think it's really important for creative projects like this to give ourselves as much time as we need to feel really confident before we move on to each next step So, today's my birthday, that's crazy, an entire year, an entire year of having to constantly adapt, and just when I think I figured out what's going on, everything changes again, but we've released some great music. So it's a Monday, and we're in the studio, and... Pat's working on guitars for Natasha. And we were gonna work on drums for Day Drinker because that's gonna be our next release. Um, but I feel like I wanna spend a little bit of extra time on the structure of Day Drinker and make sure that I'm really confident with the way that the song is structured before we lay that foundation of the drums. Cause I was thinking about it as I was on a walk the other day and I really wanted to um, give it a little bit more of a, a lead in with the vocals as opposed to with the guitar and have some drums kind of sparkling in there sprinkled through 
Um, whereas before we didn't have the drums coming in until about until after the first um, chorus. I mean, I'm sure everybody has their own techniques, but it all kind of like, oh, comes down to the okay. same. And then zoom way in mm -hmm. and see how, see like where the timing key is. Oh, they're just, oh, wow, they're perfectly in time. They're just literally in time. Too. Natasha in Natasha is um, Natasha Filipovna in Dostoevsky's The Idiot. And I wrote that song <laughs> feeling really sorry for myself um, and feeling really connected to not just that character, but to just women, I guess, throughout history who didn't get the chances that they deserved, who didn't get seen as who they really were, who were basically punished for not fitting into other people's expectations or being forcefully ripped out of their expectations. Um, and I just felt, I guess, at that point in my life, really connected to the frustration of um, just not being understood, not even really getting the chance to be understood, being deliberately misunderstood and <sighs> deliberately othered and turned into a villain no matter what your actions were, and so eventually you, you embrace that, you acknowledge that, you become the bad girl, whether that's really how you identify or not. Um, so Natasha is really, it's not just about her, I think it's about, for me, everybody, every person who has been blocked from um, really being able to show up as themselves. <laughs> 